Hello and welcome everyone to the bonus part of Fake It Till You Make It. This originally was only supposed to be in the zipper cut, but then I noticed it got really long, so I asked you in the community post whether I should make this separate as well for everyone who does not want to watch the long super cut. Most of you said they didn't really care, some of you said yes, and those were the majority under those that had an opinion, so here we go, let's go, I'm talking way too much. So, what, Mia? Hey! Atsumi pouted, and if he hadn't still been fighting a headache, might have tried to lunge a pillow at his boyfriend. It was day three of him fighting off this stupid sickness, and he was slowly but surely getting fed up with laying in bed all day. The only good news was that today was their day off, so Sakusa could keep him company. If only while keeping three meters apart and with a mask on, but that was better than nothing. I'm your boyfriend. Don't call me Mia, that's weird. An exasperated sigh echoed from the other end of the room. Sakusa didn't dignify his comment with a response. Kami, I'm bored. Not my problem. You're so cold. Oh, he would definitely get him back for this when he got out of here. Hey, you're staying in bed until this is over. Sakusa was about to tuck him back in and Atsumu was tempted to let it happen, if only to feel his touch, but decided against it. No reason to cause his boyfriend any more trouble or make him uncomfortable. I was just turning around, so I didn't have to see my boyfriend when he's being so mean. He scoffed. There was no real heat behind his words, but he was a little offended. A tiny bit. Sakasa sighed again. It was followed by steps, and to Atsumu's surprise he could feel the weight of the mattress shift. Okay, what do you want to do? His head turned around abruptly and he was met with the dark, gentle eyes of his beloved. Even with the mask on, Atsuma knew he was smiling beneath it. He grinned and immediately a worried frown appeared on the ace's face. Nothing that would require you to get out of bed. Aw, you're such a killjoy. The raven simply quirked his brow at him, but didn't come in further. Atsmuth thought about it, until suddenly his face lit up with an idea, undoubtedly causing Sakusa to regret his decision. Let's play 20 questions. Something like a chuckle escaped Sakusa's lips before he caught himself. Fine. You start. He seemed to think about it for a moment while Asma waited in anticipation. What's your favorite color? That's so basic. The ace just scowled at him. Then you shouldn't have a problem answering it. <sighs> Fine. He thought about it and found it was actually much harder than he thought. That was until the eyes met again and before he could stop himself. Black. Black. Hmm, black. It's a nice color. Technically, it isn't even a color at all. You know what I mean. Sakusa rolled his eyes, but there was a spark of curiosity lingering in them. Why black? 
Heat rapidly rushed up Atsumi's cheeks and he hoped that Sakusa would blame it on the fever he'd been fighting these past days. Well, he averted his gaze. Nah, -uh. my turn. Another sigh. Atsumi noticed that he did that a lot today, but he relented and waited. Atsumi's thoughts were rushed and he tried to come up with a question quickly. Why volleyball? I know they ask you that a lot in interviews with you doing college first and everything, but I never felt like your answer was genuine. He still looked away as the mattress shifted again, but when Sakusa answered, he couldn't help his wish to see his face, searching for the hidden truth as he did so many times before with this question. The ace leaned against the headboard and looked into the distance. Well, it wasn't a lie. Atsumi frowned, a little disappointed. But it wasn't the whole truth either. Yes, I mainly choose volleyball because, well, I'm good at it. It's fun. He could see the smile playing around his eyes, and it warmed his heart as he heard him talk about it with genuine passion. When Motia first dragged me to the volleyball club, I thought I would hate it. My parents probably did too, or they wouldn't have let it happen. But I didn't. I fell in love with it. The same way you fell in love with me? Yes, you dork. Hey! He couldn't be mad at him. Not when the deep, comforting chuckle resonated in his chest that always made Atsuma's heart skip a beat. It was really similar, actually. Surprised, he shut up and listened closely while Sakusa explained. I liked volleyball from the first day I played, but I wouldn't admit it because that would mean admitting Motea was right. But then my parents expressed how much they disliked it, so I leaned into it, just to spite them. You date me to spite your parents? It was a catalyst. He looked at Atsumu, his gaze turning soft. And just like volleyball, turns out that I love you. Honestly, I'm not sure when I'd have been able to admit this to myself without the fake dating disaster. Suddenly, a shadow crept over his face and he lowered his head a little. I could have lost you to someone else. But you didn't. Helps that I was already madly in love with you. He chuckled. Since when? Hmm? Nah, that's too embarrassing. It's my turn, so since when? Ansemic rounds, only now realizing how this could have been turned around on him. This was a bad choice. Would you believe me if I said a couple of months? Since you said it's embarrassing, no. Ugh, fine. He fumbled with the corner of his blanket while struggling for an answer. I guess I kinda always had a crush on you, like since high school. To my defense, you were insanely hot even back then. I was just a teenager, so what did you expect me to feel? Mia, stop. I don't need to hear about your teenage fantasies. 
Well, we are adults now, so we could... He smirked at him, but Sakusa shut him down rather quickly with a glare. You're still sick, so don't even think about it. Is that a maybe? It's a not now. Now that was surprising. Certainly something he'd keep in mind. Anyway, that was, as you can imagine, mostly sexual and aesthetic attraction. Not that we ever talked enough to explore any other kind of attraction. We didn't talk a lot when I got to MSBY either. True, but I got to see you a lot more. Not just at training. I knew and loved your passion for the sport already, but now there was more. The PR team forced you to interviews and Bo counted me and dragged you out to some team outings. You looked miserable. He laughed. I think it was at night at the bar we celebrated our victory in the practice match against the Adlers, remember? I remember you all getting shit-faced. I'm surprised that you still remember. Fair point, I guess. Anyway, Shoyo got utterly wasted, just because we defeated Kageyama in a practice match. At some point he basically collapsed onto your side and you let him. You let him use you as support for at least 20 minutes and then called Kageyama from his phone to make sure he gets home safely. That was so sweet of you. Well, as much as I hate it, it seems genuinely impossible to be mean to Hinata-kun. Aw, aren't you a big softie? Sakusa raised an eyebrow at him and the game proceeded. Around question 6, Sakusa hit him unprepared after Atsumu had teased him with a particularly spicy question. So why is your favorite color black? Jeez, I thought you had forgotten about that. With the way you blushed? Never. Shut up. Are you going to answer, or...? Yes, yes. He agreed, but that didn't stop him from hesitating. Well, it's the color of a team. And it was the color of Inarizaki, too. Sakusa stared at him expectantly. What? I'm waiting. I already told you. That wouldn't make you blush like that. Sad blush was just now flaring up again and Atsumu powdered while crossing his arms. Curse you and your stupid eyes. What was that? It's your eye color, okay? Circus had chuckled. Who's basic now? Oh, shut up. It's romantic, okay? If you say so. What happened between you and Oshijima? What? It's my turn, so what happened? You said Ayuka and Kumori know not to mention him, so... He got quieter toward the end, only now realizing the utter shock that was written over Sakusa's face. Ami? He hadn't even considered that it was something bad. He was just curious. I'm sorry, you don't have to... No, it's fine. It was a long time ago. Oh. 
It was all he could master as he observed the spy cat hesitantly. Sakusa had averted the dark eyes at Smulaft so much as he started to explain. He, um, he was my best friend. After Motoya, that is. The only friend I wasn't related to. I didn't have many. The one that caught... I mean, the one you went to after your parents kicked you out? He nodded slowly, and Atsuma could feel his stomach twisting into knots. Seemingly subconsciously, Sakusa pulled his knees to his chest as he continued. Though, I wasn't quite honest. He wasn't the one who caught feelings. I did. I hated it because I knew it wouldn't work out. I hated him even more because he was willing to try. He was always so considerate and kind. The setter's head spun. None of those were words he'd used to describe the tall ace, but Sakusa's eyes reflected such sincerity and admiration when he talked about him, and an old, honest pain. Well, I hate him for that. Because it made it so much harder to dislike him. He was still confused, and Sakusa must have noticed because he continued with a sigh. You know how Tendo and him are a thing now? They are? God, you are blind. He huffed, offended. Yes, they are. They don't make a big deal out of it in public, but they have been dating for years. Wakatoshi even plans to propose soon. Oh, wow! The thing is, they are one of these typical fairy tale couples that shouldn't exist in reality. Atsuma added that to the list of things he would have never thought someone say about Oshijima or his boyfriend for that matter, but hey, here they are. How so? They're just made for each other. They have been in love since high school, even though it took Wakatoshi quite a while to notice. But you did. Yeah. It was the way he looked at him. The way Tendu could make him smile. The pop culture references he'd endure for him. He did that with me too, but it was different. With Saturday, he seemed so genuinely interested. Wakatoshi is selfless. Too selfless for his own good sometimes, and he would have tried for me, but I didn't want that for him. So I tried to hate him. A long silence stretched in the room. After that, Atsumi couldn't help but be speechless. That's... wow. That must feel awful. Sakusa looked a little surprised, but nodded slowly. I'm kind of glad we weren't closer in high school. I might have blown my chances with you if we tried anything back then. I was really bitter. Well, I guess it didn't change you that much that- Ow! Sakusa flicked his forehead. I was kidding. He knew the other wasn't mad when he heard the soft chuckle from his side. Again, his heart skipped a beat and he couldn't help but admire him. The silence that followed was comfortable and quickly cut short as a realization kicked in. Wait, you slept with Oshijima? Sakusa looked at him unimpressed while Atsumi was positively losing his mind. Yes. Don't say it like that was obvious. How does it even work? Seriously? I thought after I made you scream my name, you knew that much at least. Shut up. You know what I mean. 
Well, I think almost anyone would bottom for Oshijima. You have seen the spikes, didn't you? That broke him. His brain went haywire in an attempt to process the information. Nope. Nope. I'm not even going to imagine that. Since when are you so shy, Mia? Sakusa teased him while Atsumu desperately tried to get the images out of his head. Maybe, since my boyfriend talks about his and his ex's sex life. You asked. Atsumu made an unintelligent noise of protest. If you want to put those dyes to good use, I might just let you top next time. If that's your question. He smirked at him, and Atsumu swore he must have died. Only after you're completely healthy again, though. This was a side of Sakusa he had never seen before, nor did he even expect the uptight spiker to have a side like this. And he wasn't sure he could survive this. Sakusa teasing him was a whole new level of lethal. Thank you all so 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 much for watching till the end. I hope you liked it and if you did, please leave a like because it really helps this channel out. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. More Sakuatsu if you want to. Tell me in the comments under the pin comment your favorite quote of this part and your favorite part of the overall series if you want. And yeah, should I do more videos like this? I would love to. Sakuatsu is one of my absolute favorite ships. Special thanks to my nerdy Nekos. You support this channel so, so much. And with that, this series is over. Finally, completely. <sighs> this somehow hurts. <laughs> Here are my other social media. Check them out. Or if you want to support me the best way you can, check out the other videos in the end card. Bye. Have a nice day. Wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. Think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day